Hi, I'm Dave Booth, Vice President of Sales with Caliber Equipment. What I'd like to do today is just take a few minutes to talk to you about another one of the products we offer. This is from the manufacturer IPC Eagle, and this is the CT160. Now, this is their mid-size rider scrubber. Um, this machine is available with four different deck choices, depending on the type of facility you're cleaning, the size, and what kind of performance you're expecting out of your scrubber. Let me take a few minutes and just walk you around the machine and show you some of that. Now this particular model is the cylindrical, so it's a scrubber sweeper, and that's why you see these dual front brooms. The difference on a machine that is a disc or cylindrical, underneath this machine it comes with a 30 inch scrub path, has two rotary round roller brushes and a debris tray. Or you can get it with two to three different deck sizes in the disc. The advantage of a cylindrical machine over disc is it's going to do two jobs at the same time. Number one, it's going to be scrubbing in the wet process. Number two, any small debris on the floor, it's going to pick it up and deposit it into a catch tray. So if you're looking to save time and labor, or if you have a rougher floor or maybe it's tiled with grout, cylindrical is going to do a better job cleaning. As I said, this particular model is available with four different deck choices, however with the exact same machine that we're going to talk about. While we're down here looking at the deck, as I said, you've got a tray that pulls out and gives you easy access for the debris, and then you have two roller brushes here which come out on the other side. As we go around and you look, it has many safety features built in. A rear crash bumper to protect the squeegee it has on the back. On all four corners, it's got large rollers, so again, if I get close to walls and racking, it's going to be protected. We have it here on the front, so again, we're protecting the scrub deck. And we have it on the front with this heavy steel front bumper. Again, we have rollers. So as I said, this machine is protected all the way around to give you maximum protection to safeguard both the machine, the operator, as well as your environment. Down here on the scrub deck, we can show you by simply removing this pin, this then swings out of the way, and now there's your debris tray. So as I said, stainless steel, high durability, any small debris that may be on the floor that you didn't pre-sweep, we're going to let these roller brushes scrub, and there's two of them, put the debris in here, we're going to pick up the dirty water in the back. So again, if you're looking for the maximum productivity on a scrubber and you don't want to have to pre-sweep, cylindrical design might be the way to go. As we talked about the cylindrical deck design, which is for sweeping and scrubbing, what we have to be concerned about is how do I clean the debris that might be along the walls and the edges? Well, on the 160, what they've done is they've got dual side brooms. These brooms are designed so now I can get closer to the walls, racking, and pallets when they spin and it moves the debris to the front which travels underneath the deck which is going to scrub and pick it up. Some machines have a single right side broom but again on the CT160 the value is you get dual brooms so I can either clean and sweep and scrub on the right side or the left side and again my visibility and access is wide open so the operator can work from the left or the right side. As you look around the front as I said this has got dual brooms heavy steel bumper with rollers for protection, stainless steel arms that are hinged so that in the event you get too close you can see that they pivot in so I don't damage the machine or the walls and they work that way on both sides. So again, more value but it's a sweeper scrubber for that process. If we look here by simply lifting up the seat now it gives me easy access to the batteries. This particular model's got wet acid deep cycle batteries. It's a 36 volt system, so it has six batteries. Um, you can get it with AGM maintenance free batteries, which again will simplify the uh, operation and maintenance of the machine, but it's available either way. When it comes time to charge it, this machine by simply removing this plug, then it plugs into a standard 110 wall outlet uh, charger automatically turns on. When it's done, it automatically shuts off. And then I can go back and plug it into the machine. So again, very simple, easy for your operators to uh, run and charge the machine. 
The rear compartment here, this is your recovery or pickup tank. So the dirty water that is being sucked up is going to go into here. This simply tips back. So again, now <clears throat> I, have uh, I have easy access to the full battery area, the vacuum motor, which is doing the work to pick the dirty water up, and for cleaning out the dirty tank. Here in the front, being at the bottom dark gray is my solution part, that's where I'm going to fill it up. And it comes with a strainer to make sure no debris gets down into my clean tank. So again, a lot of simple things, but they add to the value. All the fittings on this machine are stainless steel, so that goes to durability and the long life of this machine. In the rear, this being the recovery tank, you've got a big lid that comes off so now I can get inside and easily flush out the dirty water and clean the tank very simply and as you saw I can tip it back locks in with a heavy steel brace making it easier to get in there and flush it out and clean it one of the things they also engineer into their vacuum motor is the air coming out of the tank they've got a exhaust hose which actually goes back to the floor so in the event there's any liquid or moisture that is picked up in your tank, it's exhausted down to the floor, which will then be picked up by your squeegee. Again, very simple designs, but very effective. And then the large lid screws back on. Last thing in the back, this is where the air is being pulled out of the tank. They have a simple reusable filter to cover that as well as a heavy rubber flap to seal it up to get maximum suction down at your squeegee. The squeegee system in the rear of the machine, that is the key to drying the floor. It's got multiple points for breakaway in the event this is hooked. Heavy steel bar to protect the rear of the machine. Your vacuum hose there. And adjustments so that the squeegee always sits flush on the floor as well as a simple latch so I can flip the blade and get the most wear out of the squeegee rubber before it's time to replace it. There's two hoses in the rear. One drains the dirty tank, which is this one here. So in the event I need to clean out my solution tank, maybe change the detergent, I can do it very simply with that. And then over on this side you have a larger drain hose for the dirty tank. Pulls out. Now I can take it into a janitor sink or down to a floor drain, a large cap, but as you see it's an oversized hose to minimize in case there's any debris that builds up in the tank. When I'm done, I can just snap it back into the holder and it's nice and tight right into the machine. Last thing is how does this machine work? Well, what they've designed it with a number of settings, so it's a one-touch operation. We turn on the key and let it light up. Number one, comes standard with a backup alarm. Number two, comes standard with the safety light. These are options with other machines, but with the IPC Eagle CT160, these are standard features. On the front here, we've got a forward and a reverse switch. So, depending on where we're cleaning, reverse forward, and when I go in reverse and hit the gas pedal, you're going to hear a beeping. Here's your speed control. Again, a great feature to get more consistency in the scrubbing. On riders, it's people have the tendency to slow up and go fast. With this, I can set the speed that I want to go, push the gas pedal and hold it down. I'm going to get more consistent scrubbing. As we work our way around the control panel, we've got six levels of solution flow. With this, I can customize how much solution is going to the floor depending on the type of floor you're cleaning and how dirty it is. We also have up here an on and off button for the vacuum. Obviously that's for the squeegee for the recovery. And I can turn on and off the side brooms, whether I need to use them or I may not want to, I can turn them on and off here. We've got two lights that'll come on, one that tells you when you're out of clean water, another one that comes on and tells you that you're full and you're recovering, it's time to dump it. They've also built in two automatic discharge buttons for the side brooms. So when it's time to replace them by simply pushing a button, they will automatically disengage 
When it's time to replace them, pushing a button, it will automatically load up. The other part that's unique about this compared to other machines, even though I can do a lot of settings independently, I can pre-program it for three completely different phases of operation. So if I have an area that I'm cleaning that it needs just a little bit of down pressure, a little bit of water for light duty cleaning, all the operator does is hit one. Everything turns on and I'm ready to scrub. Then I can program uh, position two, which would increase the down pressure and give me more solution and soap because I have a dirtier area, or position three, which gives me maximum down pressure and more solution. So again, I can program each of these buttons to simplify it for the operators, and on one touch, I can go to different levels of scrubbing. Last thing, if we look here, we've got two controls that or that handle the left and right side broom. So when I want to sweep, simply pull this out, lowers down the left broom and it'll automatically turn on. Pick it up. I can drop the right side or I can run them both. So it gives you the flexibility of left cleaning or right cleaning. As you can see, the CT160 for my PC Eagle is packed with a lot of automatic features and ideas and designs to help make the machine productive and durable in the mid-size category. For more information, give us a call. Caliber Equipment, 888-550-0945. And thanks for watching.